Internet. In order to feel some neck, in order to feel that that's a fucked up thing, blood, it had to be bred in you to feel that way. You know what I mean? As a young nigga, you had to be taught these things. And this yes. is what I'm saying. Big homies was teaching us that, blood. Because I I was 12, it was niggas that was he Pooh Nitty, you know what I'm saying? It was Ace Wicked. Then, you know, Chosh Nitty was right there. And then it went up, you know what I'm saying? Big, homie, big homies was gone, but niggas like me, we was taught to respect the homie whether he was gone yeah, was or too. not. Right. You know what I'm saying? Whether he was gone right. or not. We even came home. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, blood. Yeah, yeah, real talk. So, so now, Tiny Tim was, and the Scotty G's, and the big homies that was in the pen before I even came to the set, I knew who you niggas yeah. was, because I was That's, grown like yeah. that. Now, this, now yeah, motherfucker too. come around, they like look at you like, yeah, but who was you? Don't know, they don't know their history because see, Lincoln Park is, is, is and I'm, I'm gonna be on record saying this is a derivative from the Five Nine Brim set. That's real. And it we is. started, and we, and when we was, and when we was banging at Ocean View Park, a lot of, a lot of the Big R. Louis and the Stacy Butlers and all them niggas. You know what I'm saying? I remember you did what I'm saying. Come up to the park, catching our back against some niggas from the hood, right? And niggas from yeah. the, from the coast and whatever. And they weren't even Lincoln Park schoolyard yet, because the original wow. Lincoln Park was up on the Pie Root. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And uh, and and a lot of the brothers that you're speaking on, you dig what I'm saying? I grew up with. Right. You dig what I'm mean? a couple of niggas had to get down with. Heads right. up. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is, I'm perplexed with how everything is going on now. Become and how and how and how the head of it is. You know why, why I got weaker? Cause niggas start, like you said, start doing on their own. But niggas is they went to the point where they ain't even respecting G's no more. That's how I got to the point. That's what blood scared on blood Listen, big homie, I want to get go though. This what happened, blood. The police wasn't that infiltrated, blood, into the, the southeast in the 80s, right. blood. Hell no, they when we when we started banging blood, there wasn't no gang prevention at, at school. We was walking around Knox with green flash. Kenny I'm Demon listening. had me. I'm listening. Kenny Demon had me at Knox blood. Told me blood, you got to get your mama to buy. You you down, little homie. Yeah. But you got to get your mama to buy you some different clothes, blood, cuz right. that's not we was banged out in elementary, homie. Right. So what I'm saying is now the police them broke this shit up so much blood to because where Because they they're infiltrated. Niggas so now, brought niggas around talking about, man, this is the homie so and so he down know this nigga. So now we can't make it together like we used to, nah. blood, because of the paroles and the gang right. and, the, and, the, and the motherfucking gang injunction shit. So like I was saying, when I was young, blood, it was niggas 12, it was niggas 15, it was niggas 25, it was niggas 30. That was all meeting up in the dip on Logan Ave or whether it was Fofar or wherever it was at. And, blood, if you didn't come along with blood, up, what would happen to a nigga, blood, if we didn't be in for like a you week or something? Like it. He now. get green lighted, blood. But on top of that, yeah, when I got out, check this out. Hold up, look, when I got out. Mean, when I got out, what did we what used you? to do? We used to have meetings, didn't Meetings, we? blood. And it wasn't about no ignorant shit. It was just about what's going on. And so now what it is, is with all this infiltration of the police and them having this programs and this gang shit and probation and all this shit, the young homies can't be around the big homies because the big homies can't jeopardize going to jail every day, blood, just for being in a dip. Like on right. Gang Injunction, when the Gang Injunction come out, nigga go to jail, blood, right. just for being with a homie. So therefore, a nigga like Tiny Tim, a nigga like Rigna, a nigga like Mitchie Slick that done been on the front line, blood. These, blood, 80s, blood, 80s. Niggas been on the front line for 15, 20 years, 20 blood. Years. Niggas, nigga, after a while, blood, like I ask a young homie every day, blood, what you, you 15 now, what, what you, you wanna, wanna be doing for 15 years from now? Or are you gonna be in the same place that you in for 15 years, yeah. 15 years from now? that you in right now? Are you, do you want to be in the same place in 15 years that you in right now? Drinking and, Mickey's in the tree and blood tell 35. me no. So then I say, blood, then why the fuck you expect me to be around this motherfucker 15 years later, blood? Right, right. Nigga, you supposed to, and that's the thing, that's the, that's it, blood. The little homies can't be around the big homies to get the real game, homie. Right. If a little homie be on the front line, blood, you know what I'm saying? If he do something stupid, there's no big bull to kick him in his ass. Right. There's no little well, soft right. to I slap him on his neck no more, blood. Well, the thing is, even some of us as G's, we still got to respect some of the young brothers. Respect the fuck out of them. You know, we still got to show them respect because a lot of these young brothers is killers. And they dangerous, you dig know what I'm saying? And they not as receptive as we used to be. The thing is, I'm realizing that we got to sit down and we got to talk to them. The ones who not receptive, then fuck them. Yeah. You dig know what I'm saying? Let them go by the wayside. Because of 
be me, homie, and they so group it up off the rap shit, and they be a nigga on TV or be a nigga on the flyer. That's why I say I'm the most famous gang banger right, in San right, Diego right, because right. of this rap shit. Right, I know. A nigga you can't. Universal. A nigga blood. A nigga blood. Okay, you be here and you be there. Blood, but what if a nigga that was your enemy could tell it was you from across all the way over there, though? A nigga know me from behind, blood. Right, right. A nigga know me from behind, right. set up on yeah, all A nigga right. know me, blood. A nigga know me from how I walk. And he ain't yeah. never seen me in person in his life, homie. So the eyes for and me I is know different. You a San Jose, so man. the eyes is different, homie, for me. The yeah, eyes ain't the same for me right. as it is for another nigga, blood. Right, right. Every nigga don't want to tear your head off right. just for the strike, because that's yeah, right. You, right. So it's different for me, homie. Right. I hear a lot it's of out there. I hear a lot of niggas say, "Oh, blood." Not about me, but say I look at another nigga that's in the, in in this industry or something, and they'll be like, "Um, oh, blood." I ain't never let no nigga say that to me, blood. Like a nigga might have said something right, to him, right, or right. or this nigga right. might have heard a nigga say, "Oh, fuck him," right. and he didn't go over here and slap the nigga or right, sock the nigga. Some, yeah. What I'm saying is, like, when you do this rap shit, right. blood, it's ten niggas saying that shit every day, blood. Right. Yeah, nigga, you can go sock every nigga that said fuck you, cause your whole life only ten niggas said it. Right. <laughs> what if what if a thousand niggas said it though? You can't do it. Yeah, I And see, it. that's what this rap shit do, homie. And the homies don't know this shit, homie. Right. Niggas don't know. Blood, I be in every blood set across America, blood. Right, you right. I represent Lincoln Park, blood. Like you just cause they be like, look at that nigga on stage, he think he hard. Come and on, the nigga homie. ain't even acting. Come on, homie. You know what I'm saying? On, he really about this. Nigga, y'all in another city claiming California shit. Nigga, never been to California. Nigga, I be everywhere repping this Lincoln Park shit, homie. I ain't gonna say the other shit. They done see me do all this shit. Right. And now you see me on TV and that shit is so overwhelming to you to be this, to where you look at me like I'm not even me no more. Right. So now when I say certain things, you don't listen like you used to listen. When I come around, you look at me different now. Blood, blood, don't be group, don't be grouped up off the rap shit, nigga. I'm the same nigga. I'm the same nigga that ain't never ever got slapped or said you's a bitch and didn't do nothing. I'm the same nigga that ain't never ran off. I'm the same nigga, homie. I'm the same nigga that ran the vistas. All that shit. Right. I'm this. Got you cool. Get some for them. Yeah. I'm that same nigga, homie, and yeah. niggas see this rap shit, and Run see this record. TV shit, homie, and they get it fucked up, homie, and it's fucked up for the set. Right. Because I was the homie chosen, homie, to lace the homies on how right. to beat me, yeah. and now it's so spread up to where the little homies, they can't bick it with the big homies. They don't get to bick it with the big homie. The right. little homies don't even get to no time. Well, Look, that's a privilege them, when, for me when, to know when, you, when, my when, nigga. When them little niggas, when them little niggas come around, at least me, blood, I get nervous in the motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, you know what I would he embraced me everything. Yeah, I was because fresh because out, it was bro. a different time. Yeah. See, me when we was young, it wasn't the big homie gotta know me. Right. Nigga, it was me. I gotta know the big homie. Right. The same way as if you going into politics, you have to study your history book and right. know who George Washington is. Yeah. And know who and, and even now you, that, know you, who on Congress you have, to know, you have to know you have to know. You're new. Right. You have to know. Right. A big homie ain't got to know you, little right. nigga. You right. got to know him. And then you have to impress him and make him know you right. and want to respect you. Right, that's right. He don't have to bicky with you. Yeah. You have to want him to bicky with you. Yeah, that's real just tough. like any African tribe, just like any right. Navy, right. Army, just right. like the Muslims. Little hum the big homies be that type of shit going on and may not want to fuck with a little homie because they seeing how they dealing with these baby lines. Right. So now you have little homies over here feeling like, oh, the big homies ain't fucking with us. I tell a little homie so like this. Them. I tell a little homie like this any day. Listen, blood, if the big homie over here balling, blood, and you can bring something to the table with this nigga, okay, fuck it. I'm not even promoting no selling dope, but this is how niggas understand shit, so we'll talk dope. If the, right, 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 if the homie over here got some birds, if the homie over here got some birds, that's the only way they're going to stand. That's the only way they're going to stand. <laughs> if the homie over here got some birds, homie, and you over here, you're not doing nothing, you're not, but you mad at him because he won't give you nothing. Right. Try this. Try to get at the homie like this. Go home, go over here to the spot and lock this spot down. Make sure you got your shit cracking over here and get at the big homie and say, check it out, big homie. I got something going on right now, blood. Won't you give me a little bit of this right here? If I come back with this, would you give me that? And if I could, blood, watch what he do. See if he don't tear you off. Cause don't no big homie go see a little homie with an opportunity to make some money with right, him. Gonna, it's gonna, it's not gonna fuck right, him. Gonna fuck but you him. gotta be about your business, man. The same way I gotta be about this business when I go up in this record company. Right. I can't go up in the record company and be like, hey, what's up, Warner Brothers? Can I get a deal, homie? Right. Nah, homie, I gotta go in here with this paperwork. Right. Hello. Boom, here go these record sales. Here go this business plan. 
I need this much money. I got to put it on paper and make it look right in order for them to want to do business with me. You know what I'm saying? If any nigga had a sex, they wouldn't just want to throw nothing to no nigga that they don't know whether he can handle it or not. Prove to your big homie that you can handle that. Right. Prove to that nigga that you can handle that and watch what he do with you. But see, niggas sit up here and be mad. Oh, blood got money. He don't fuck with us. Blood, he, you ain't never even went up to this all nigga and said, back. what's up, big homie? My name is but this. Niggas know oh, I was a young yeah. homie, blood. I had never met soft, blood. When them niggas went, right. blood, I was probably in, in 13 or 14, right. yeah, you, 12 yeah, years you old. Blood, on the beat up. you was young when I got home, On the beat up, on the beat up, nigga, on bloods, nigga. I was sending big soft money, blood. I never had met blood in my life, blood. Just on some young G shit, right, blood, right, to my right, big right. homie. And blood will tell you that. Who ain't got no hustle about themselves and still expect for you to fuck with them. And then when you don't, oh fuck that nigga, he's a bitch. Nah, nigga, well, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Real yeah. talk. You know what it's called though? I'm just I'm just a young homie. It's called laziness, homie. Yeah. <laughs> Get up off Speak your on ass. It. Speak on it. It's Teddy called P. laziness, homie. Because if you got a big homie that's doing something. That's Teddy P for y'all who don't know. Some, some positive <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Let blood brack and do what he do, homie. You know what I mean? I'm from the Monster Squad, homie. I'm, I, you know, I start doing this shit in 95, blood. The homies that I grew up with, homie, we're they savages. been doing this shit longer than I have, homie. You know what I mean? Like the homie said, we're savages, homie. You yeah, that crew, I mean? that crew you was with? Savages. So, therefore, niggas really Big need blood, to fuck around blood. and get their marbles <laughs> yeah. up, homie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Niggas really need to get their marbles up, blood, and come together like blood cheeks, homie. And all this old gay shit homies is doing, and in general speaking, it's not boo. Homie. Now, it's not about self, but at the same time, you gotta start thinking about putting yourself in a position where you can do something for your family. Yeah, right. you did what right. I'm saying. Yeah. Then opposed, the time. then opposed, first, then, then opposed to what you can do for the set. Family first. You know man. what I mean? And then I'll, at the same time, I also like to advocate education. You know, my homeboy Conrad, uh, Stefan, and a couple other brothers, you know what I'm saying, OGs Against Gang Violence, these brothers have been out there really putting it down, trying to advocate to the brothers that a lot of this senseless killing that's been going on in the neighborhood right. is bullshit. Yeah. Because back when we was doing it, it wasn't about, you know what I'm saying, just, oh, just kill this nigga because he's from a, a particular set. You know, whenever we went to get down with a motherfucker, we knew who our target was, and that's who we was going to go get yeah, down with. Shooting no Not shooting, babies, yeah, just shooting and babies and tripping like, on boys shit like that. Like them yeah. little, like shooting them sisters, like them, like them uh, church ladies who got killed in yeah. the Muslim that, ladies. That, that, Muslim ladies. Yeah, that, I mean, they're shameful. That killed you know what I'm saying? Boy, huh? Shameful. And then, and then yeah. you kill the eight year old boy. In my neighborhood, in front of Dr. And then you want to call, and then you want to call, and then you want to call yourself a gangster. You's a fucking bitch whoever you is who did the shooting you know what i mean yeah, so you yeah, know that's that's just, yeah that's some right whole there. ass shit right there and we just didn't get down like that you know what i'm saying and like i said we come from a, a particular era where you know what i'm saying it was chunking them heads up first you know what i'm saying before we put out the knives chains bats and pistols and you see the order that i said yep. knives chains bats or then pistols like me yeah, if, I love you, couldn't solve, them with if, a if you couldn't solve your problem you know what i'm saying well, shit, nigga. how we come up and niggas click all this shit up and it's still one set. Right? But that's what's fucked up is the clicking. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, it's it's, the, it's the clicking. Mix. And yeah. every once in a while, even when I go to my hood, you know, and I got a lot of good brothers from my hood, but every once in a while when I go down to the Ocean View Park, you know, I can see the little clicks. Yeah. And, it's, and it's funny to me because back in our days, we didn't do that shit. Then these niggas had nerve to start that Ocean View basement shit. What the fuck is wrong with you niggas, nigga? This is five nine brims, nigga. Is. Period. You know what I'm saying? No ifs, ands, and buts about it. What's up, sis? You know? It's fucked up, big homie. Because that's the shit I'm talking about with the clicking up shit. See, this this is what, this, this is game for the young homies to straighten this shit out, blood. Yeah, I'm in the track. See, that dip, when we was in that dip, homie, that meant everybody had to come together, homie. Means, if you did something faulty, you gotta be every homie from the set today, homie. If you did some gay shit, you gotta be everybody. You, got to. you gotta be. If yeah. you can't be down there making the turf hot, cause the big, you know, big bull gonna slap you in the back of your head or some shit like that. But see, now you have the little homies on their own, and they making their own laws and their own rules. Real talk. Right. You feel me? Right. And, and see, you can't really blame them, cause they don't really got the knowledge. But then they had to look at the reason why we not there. There was no gang injunction. There was no. I won't stop. I won't stop being a blood. Anything to keep us on top. I won't stop what? I won't stop being a blood. Even 
that the holding tanks filled up across town. I won't stop being the blood. Put my back against the wall, I'ma have to get stomped out. Because I won't stop being the blood.